Welcome back, Hobbit Collectors and Diecast. This is to another episode of Curb's Garage. Got a nice little weekend haul for you. Starting out with this matchbox here I found. And great story about this. This is my very, very first car my dad gave me. He used to be a, he used to buy and sell used cars. And I had this exact 1970 Ford Ranchero in one one scale, of course. Same color green. Um, my parents had left on vacation the day he gave me the car. I was working at a May company you know, about two or three miles from my house at this mall. And uh, <laughs> I had just moved into this town. I live now, Oceanside Beach Town. Didn't know anybody. So I get in the car assuming it's full of gas or at least enough gas. And um, I hop in it and rev it up and drive it down the, you know, on, on the freeway, basically the first off ramp to the, the mall that was right there. And it just puttered and stopped, ran out of gas right there. So I get out and I start walking to the job because it's kind of like one of my first days. And uh, a guy in a scooter, who's now a longtime friend, pulls up and on his Vespa, it's actually what he had, and he's like, hey, you need a ride? And I said, sure, so I hopped on, and he dropped me off at the May Company I worked at, and uh, never saw that car again. It got towed, and uh, yeah, my dad was too stoked on me losing that car, but I didn't have any money to put gas in it. Um, so, yeah, not very long. I would say I had that car for about less than 24 hours. <laughs> But I was kind of bummed because it wasn't a Ranchero. I mean, it wasn't an El Camino. It was a Ranchero. So the body wasn't as sexy. But, yeah, this is my very first first car. And uh, so that's pretty special find right there. Um, and then from the moving parts, I think these things... I'll really get into these. These are really cool, especially this one, this wagon, 1957 Ford sedan, the opening hood. Gotta love your station wagons with opening parts. Red and white. Really cool. And I found uh, this one here. These I found at local Walmart. This 64 Buick Riviera. Pretty tough looking, all black. Nice chrome trim. So we got those. And I wasn't sure, again, I always forget what I picked up and I don't, if I got this. I feel like I didn't, because it didn't seem like it was a real car, but it does have golf livery on it. It's that Glory Chaser, and I'm curious what it's based on. And, um, but uh, yeah, I may have to look at the history of it, but anyhow, yeah, pick that up for the golf livery collection. Then I picked this up. I feel like I got this too, but maybe I didn't. I feel like I grabbed it. Uh, I told you the story about my girl I was dating had, uh, I believe she had an 89 Mazda like this that uh, an RX-7 that uh, she let me borrow to go uh, to spend Thanksgiving with my family at my brother's house that lived off, off this uh, two-lane country mountain winding road and it was an amazing drive so I've been picking these up all the different variation colors it's candy apple greens pretty cool so we'll see if I that nice detail in the rear. So, um, there's that. And then I'm not sure what these are. I guess they're just main lines with different packaging. I don't know if it's any kind of, uh, didn't say anything, just kind of neat packaging than your regular main line. Um, this is the 1970 Buick. GSX in red. It's pretty nice. It's really got a chrome base. A 
guess they're all muscle cars in this series, which is cool. And I got this one here, custom 87 Pontiac Firebird. Or 67, not 87, I should say. It's got the engine showing. And then I got this here only because it's a uh, um, 55th anniversary, anniversary, <laughs> anniversary um, Hot Wheels car. I'll keep it in the package. Kind of put it with my 1950 or 50th anniversary cars. Not sure how many of these they made, but also with my. Um, Twin mills be a nice little add to that. Okay, what do we got next? So we'll go with the this guy here. It's a muscle machine 64 Shelby Cobra. Um, yeah, it got turned on to these and really digging them. I don't see them that much, but uh, I think they're pretty cool. At first, I didn't really dig on the whole tuned kind of luck but I don't know these things kind of grew on me so collect these muscle machines when I see them got the uh, on this which probably everybody has the I've seen everybody post these the two packs and I think one is a uh, like the yellow one maybe this is re issue and the red one's probably different but uh, I'll unpack both those and put them in my collection let's see we got uh, it's pretty cool fair lady m2 almost like a brick red color with black Old rims. 1970 Nissan Fair Lady. Lots of detail there. That's pretty cool. Not sure if I've seen a whole lot of these uh, people posting, but I found that at local Walmart, which is unbelievable. And then another. Uh, 1971 Dodge Charger. Gotta love your muscle cars. It's another M2. And I got uh, Pontiac 1968 Firebird 400. Looks like a nice eggplant purple, one of my favorite colors. Got the blown engine. Tough. Rear detail. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, now we got the uh, into the um, entertainment cars. I actually found the whole collection of the Fast and Furious premium. There's the number one 69 Chevy Camaro. The number two Toyota Land Cruiser. Don't even know how to pronounce that. W Motors Lycon Hypersport. Number four, the 71 Plymouth GTX. Badass. Number five. 
and number five, the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat wide body. Barely even see it, it's so dark. And then we got Johnny Lightning. Uh, the Speed Racer series. This is uh, the character's. Uh, what is his name? Sp oh, Snake Oiler. Uh, it says it right there. Snake Oiler. And um, part of the acrobatic uh, team. And yeah, these cars were very competitive to the Mach 5. And I have an older Johnny Lightning one. I'm just not sure if this is a different uh, die cast or not. So we'll see when I get this back to uh, my storage and my collection. If it's the same, I might just end up selling it. No need to have two. And uh, here's the green light version of the Brady Bunch. 1969 Plymouth Satellite Station Wagon. That Matchbox made one. Is it Matchbox? Yeah, I think, but yeah, Matchbox made one. It's a little bit different than this. It's a totally different die cast than this one, but uh, yeah, if you've ever seen that TV show, you know this station wagon. Six kids, a maid, a dog. That's what the family wagon was. They went on their trips to the Grand Canyon and such. This is from a um, Eddie Murphy movie. And it was coming to America. He was like some South African prince or something and uh, came to America to find a wife. And I believe this is the taxi that he drove, I think. That was his job, if I remember correctly. I don't know, it's been a long time. Pretty funny movie, though. I suggest it if you haven't seen it. And then uh, here's a the giant like, tribute pursuit. Uh, it was a classic. Uh, game in the 80s. It was really good for like an after parties and you'd pick a card and uh, ask a question or something and somebody had a Guinness to write it. I forget. It's been a while, but uh, fun game. But anyhow, this is The Pacer from Wayne's World. Another classic movie. And uh, so, pretty stoked on that. And that's it. That's was my haul for the weekend. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy hunting and uh, see you next time.